Us! Us! This is uh, Sensei Adams and Sensei Quidadamo going over some basic self-defense techniques uh, for PE instructors and dojo operators. And I have no problem with them being distributed to the students. Right? Us! Us! So we're going to start out with wrist escapes. Here, the most important thing in a wrist escape, this may be necessary, but we turn here, and what happens, we get twist the wrist, so the small part of the wrist is coming out. Um, for, hold as tight as you possibly can. However, if we're a 110 pound person, or a little girl, like my daughter, what I teach in my class is, help, fire, fire! Little kid being abducted, it's very important that we stop and think. Most of us in karate, we're doing the push-ups and the stuff. But when we first start or we're small, a technique that will work for me will not work for my daughter or for a 110-pound uh, girl or my wife. So we have to have variations. Awesome. Okay, so as I said here, come around. Come around here. And you don't come straight, you twist this so that this part of your wrist is working against the thumb versus it still comes, but it's much easier. Okay. Next wrist technique. And it's the same one. Uh, you want to do escapes? Or I want to do escapes. Okay. okay, same thing here. We don't want to come into it, we want to come away from it. So, exact same thing here, you know whatever, and again, this is geared for kids or small people being picked on by other bigger people. Okay, here, always work against the thumb. Close. All right, now we'll go, okay, now we'll go into the uh, wrist techniques. Not double first. Do the double first, which we essentially do the same thing here. Loosening technique here. Come over, grab the meat of the hand by the thumb. Twist here. Notice I'm keeping it in. I want to come here, not here, because that happens. As I push directly over this shoulder, I pull this way. It's very important to teach, teach clients how to slap. Another, boom. Here, again, like this. You want to not go here, but go there. As you can see here, when you get the torque right, it doesn't take much. Next wrist technique. Straight across, I want to pin my thumb to my own arm, grab here, Circular, not straight up. Circular, again, that's easier than coming. We get the motion here. You can go really fast to this point. I want to be pressing this way, coming and take this finger and point it to my own toe. Some people mistakenly teach just to come down. You want to keep like that. So you can see better here, here, around. I'm pressing this way at the same time, I'm forming the Z formation, and I can get it like that, but this, as you can see, it's much better. And we have to give Sensei Kudodamo a hand here, this is not pleasant for him, and it's going to get worse as we go. No problem, Sensei. Um, you might want to zoom in too sometimes, mm -hmm. you know how to do that? No. I'm big enough, I can stick my, force my thumb between, but if you can't, you want to pin to the wrist, so if he tries to pull away, I've got him locked. Where if I just go like this, pull away, let go and pull away. <laughs> See, if, if he thinks I've got him trapped and I'm just here, but if I've got here, pull. Okay, now, again, we want to be here, we want to make a circular motion and come up. Now, as you can see, my hand is correct here and here right, I've gotten enough above him that I want to rotate around, circular motion, I have seen it taught, 
this kind of works. And in a lot of the PE classes, the Okies are trained to go down. That's really a bad thing to have happen. If it won't work, it shouldn't do it. Also, you want to keep the things at this level, not down here, because it's not as painful. Here it's instant. If we don't get quite high enough, again, a smaller person, grab here, do that. You know, we used to do this Indian rub when I was a kid anyway, before we became politically correct hurt each other on a regular basis. Here, down, up, here, around. And again, it may require a, a loosening technique, but they shouldn't be mandatory unless we're talking size difference. Okay, here, this one again. I'm trapping here. You come up here. So, I've seen it taught like this and that works, but it's wrong. You want to rotate the elbow. And I guarantee you, he felt that difference. So we're here like this, we're here. This is quasi okay, but not quite correct. When we rotate and point that elbow towards our toe, major difference. Okay, here. This one, I've not seen taught right for a long time. People are so interested in coming in here. All he's got to do is this, and we're missing teeth. When this originally was taught, it was here. We didn't move at all. And it's just, and it's been perverted to come in, and whack them here, here, all this. By well-intentioned, non-thinking people. We come here, we keep it up. We start with, the whole works comes up for two reasons. Try to hit this out of the hand. If I do it down here, it kind of works, and I get hit. If I keep the works up here, it works. Let's do not make the mistake. Don't get last sedated and think, oh, Sensei's being too technical. No, Sensei's not being too technical. One works, the other one gets you knocked out. Let's, uh, We'll now go to rear double wrist grab. Okay, from here, first thing I do, look over my shoulder, make sure it's not mom, and make sure where they're at. If I am, you see the distance between us? I am here, I grab, I step back, I, let's turn this way, okay. I'm here, I grab, I step back here, my fingers start, at this point, start rotating into my armpit. As I'm sitting on his thigh, I come up here, ready? <coughs> here. Okay, from here, there are many things we can do, and it depends on the person. Reach down, grab, are you not wearing a cup? No, my goodness, that. That, no wonder Leanne's happy. <laughs> anyway, pull tight, move your head back. Pop! That gets their immediate attention. From here, if you're not on the floor already, step to here, this hand comes up, whip around here, break the floating rib or anyone that gets in the way, throw a knee here, and down. Other follow-throughs, or let's get, side, let's get this side first. Uh, let's say that God is close, we don't have to step back, we just step out, bam. <laughs> From here, many follow-throughs. There's one, you just step back and go over. Uh, bam. Reach, squat down. Bang. Mm, mm, whatever. Uh, and we could go on for a long time. I'm just going through a few variations Oops. here. Freeze it, stop. Ready? Yeah. Okay, front choke. Now, the first thing we have to remember here is they're not going to hang out and just say, uh, uh, I'm going to choke you. You're going to have to bust into this fast. And when you first do a demonstration, it should be pretty easy. 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 At least that fast. You want to wow them the first time and show them it works. Now we're going to move here. As we come in here, straight out of Taikyoko 1. I step 
We always say back when I step into 90. I don't try to do this. I mean, it puts a guy in an interesting position if he's working with a girl and it gets in the way of what you're doing. So you want to come crossed here, whether they come off or not is immaterial. Strike either carotid artery, temple. From here, we can either grab and launch into the uh, reverse punch, or we can capture the hand here, uh, usually a little upper level, we'll be better in control with this. Step in, growing kick here, down here, strike to the uh, chin. We pull him down here at this angle, set in kazoo, sweep. From here we have this elbow technique, if you have a good lawyer. Okay, this other variation of this one. Uh, step here, here, strike, here. Less complicated, but you have to be bigger to get it accomplished. More powerful. Let's, the other one. Okay. We're here. Strike, strike. Again, a smaller person. Eventually, Sensei will learn to wear a cup. <laughs> Grab hold here. Similar to peon five. Let's, when you grab hold of these things, don't just pull back, squeeze, twist, and rip. Let's, they're not your friend, we're assuming. Let's, okay. Other variations of front choke. I usually get told not to do that. Well, if you're strong enough, it'll work. If you're small, it won't. Here, bang, mm, bam, whatever. Let's, uh, Again, front chokes. If you're big enough, you can come like this. Teach the first ones first, usually. Okay, side choke. Here, first thing, look, pop hard. Step, here. Or if you have a smaller Tory that cannot possibly bring them with that punch, there. Okay, and then from here, you can go into all, like a throat grab here. Hang on on the way down. Make a point when you get any of these. You're here, here, wherever you're at. Here, see how you set him off balance first? Actually, you can let go. I've seen, I don't know how many times people do stuff like this. I'm not going to take him anywhere. I'm the one off balance. He's going to put me down. Oops. Do not get lackadaisical in your teaching. Detail is essential. Especially if you're working with someone 150 pounds or less going up against someone their own weight or bigger. Your rear choke. Okay. Ready? You don't have to kill your opponent, but you have to make sure the first time you demonstrate they understand it will work. Oops. Okay, we're here. Like you're going to be Superman. See, I've gotten more politically correct than you. Here, we come around. We come in like this, lock the arms up, and as I come through here when the uh, Sinkutsudachi locks, I break the rib, I slide up here to set the off balance. And when you're working with the opponent, make sure to let him go. You're here like this with the elbows. For side choke, another option. You come here, step here, bang here, work into a guillotine. Have him here. 
back here. Let's, you got the arm here. You can bring them right down into the knee. Uh, for a rear choke, one of my personal favorites, you got to come here, step around here, come back here. Make sure you let go of the arms because you'll hyperextend the elbow. Put you in a perfect position for here, here. Many variations of how you can do that. Well, I'm not saying go up to a Gracie Jiu Jitsu person and start telling them how great the groundwork is. <laughs> you will not like the results of that. Okay, what's next? So, this is here. Many things that we teach from this. The simplest, get air, do a twist. Now, sometimes they'll ride up over your hip, but it's not necessary. Put some right where you want them. Up here. One that we have not taught for a while for a very good reason. You gotta be black belt before you can make it work. But get air here, step here. See how I've buckled him a little? Turn and bow. The only reason I'm showing you not show that as a first technique was because as I said, it didn't work. The key here is get air, step hard behind him. You see how he's already buckling. Technically, if I step hard enough. But, now, I think I was neat on before I could make this work effectively. Uh, First thing, bang, bang. God, you wish you were wearing a cup. <laughs> okay, from here, up again. These are loosening techniques. Grab, hold, check for size. Twist. When the testicles explode, he's probably on the ground. Oops. All right. Again, let's get this. One that I want to make sure everyone teaches. 